Welcome to the garage, everybody. It's Sunday, wanted to put a video up. A lot of different things on my mind today and wanted to enjoy the new pipe that I got yesterday. It's this beautiful piece of briar. Um, it's made by a company called Fourth Generation uh, out of Denmark. They're made for the pipe maker, Eric Stokeby. My dad, his friend, uh, Tom, and I all traveled to Bloomington, Indiana yesterday where we visited a pipe store called the Briar and Burley. We also went to lunch at a, a nice little uh, brew house uh, across the way and that allowed them to, to get a beer and we grabbed lunch. And uh, they also had like a smoking lounge within the place that was really cool. Was able to sit or were able to sit and enjoy the new pipes that we had bought as well as some tobacco. But like I said, just uh, it was a great day to get out of the house. It was a really pretty day as far as the drive because it was pretty crummy if you wanted to be outside because it's about 10 degrees in our area at the moment. Um, so it was just a nice day to at least be in the car for a couple of hours, see the snow, um, and get out of the house and, and just uh, enjoy that time together. So, uh, also, sorry, there might be some glitter on my face. Um, it's from Christmas decorations. Uh, <laughs> and I've had to get, uh, wrestle our Christmas tree back into the attic. And I, I did notice that earlier that I had some glitter on me, uh, which I cannot stand. And uh, I heard a, I think it was a pastor that said this one time that was a, it always kind of hung with me. Uh, because of my dislike for glitter and he said sin is like glitter in our lives um, no matter how hard we try to get rid of it it's it's somehow it still always is there or shows back up or um, winds up someplace you don't want it to be and I always thought that that's so true that uh, <laughs> it's uh, uh, I don't think you could have a closer comparison anyhow uh, like I said, a lot of different things on my head, um, on my mind, that I wanted to just put up a short video, talk with you all for a moment, what I'm currently reading, our trip to the pipe store yesterday. Um, I can, like I said, I can try to get you all a little bit closer picture of this too, where the lighting, I, the camera lighting is probably not the best. But just this week, um, I'm coming up on my four years that I haven't drank. Um, Again, great, another, sorry, another great year. Um, it goes by really quickly. I couldn't be more happy with where I'm at in life with the channel as a parent, um, my interests, all the, all the different things. It's just, I, I couldn't feel like I'm, I'm more in the right spot and I'm so glad that I made that decision four years ago. That's not the point of today's video um, but I did want to share that again like I said just several things that I had on my mind that was one of them and uh, if you wanted to know uh, what I was smoking in the pipe the intro you might have you might have saw it or picked up on it but it is it's called States of Virginia um, it's put out by Sutliff three different types of Virginia tobaccos in there so you can kind of mix it and uh, play with it to whatever you you know suit your liking but it's a great tobacco. Wanted to kind of play on that title uh, or name, I guess, if you will. It kind of ties in with what I'm currently reading, something I recently heard. Um, but what is the current state of Virginia or state of Virginia or Maryland? Where are we as a country? Um, something that I had heard recently that was food for thought and uh, tr triggered just some some thought in me that I, I feel like it's just, it, this this year. It, sorry, I, I'm I tend to be a scatterbrain, so I'm trying to get too many ideas out at the exact same time. But if you go back to the previous video, I talked about the Constitution, kind of where we're at as a country as a whole, moving into this 2024 election year, I try not to really make the channel to, to any real 
heavy involvement over politics or where I tend to stand, but I do think that some of these things are just good food for thought to look at history. Where are we headed? Um, how, you know, are we treating each other like we should? Those types of things I do think are important without necessarily diving into one certain political realm or another, but that we can think about as US citizens. So that had been on my mind as well. Again, like I had stated, if you go back to the previous video, I was talking about the Constitution as well as a book that I recently finished up by Bill O'Reilly that was called Killing the Witches. Talks a lot about early American history through the Revolutionary War and so on. I had heard someone talking recently. It's Some of you all may know who I'm talking about. It's Chad Wright with the Three of Seven Project. It's, a, it's another YouTube channel. He's a former veteran, Navy SEAL, um, has his own company. Really, really sharp guy, really interesting to listen to. But he had talked about, and, and again, that correlating, correlating to what I'm currently reading, he had talked about where, where are we at currently? It was a short, a short snippet out of, uh, I would assume, a, what was a larger talk that he had given. And he said, when was the last time that a country, that not a country, our country, was removing presidential candidates from the ballot? Um, if you don't know what I'm referring to, I believe that there has been at least two states that I know of that have tried to remove one of the candidates from the ballot. Um, and he, he just brought that up as a point, a, a point of reflection. When was the last time we had states trying to remove presidential candidates from the ballot? And somebody in the background said, Abraham Lincoln. And he said, that's exactly right. And he said, what did that result in? And they said, civil war. And he said, exactly. And he said, I'm telling you, we don't want to head down that path. And this is a, a gentleman coming from a very active career in probably battle, uh, I would assume. I would assume he was active. I, I don't know for a fact. But I would say being in special operations, he was active. Um, so he has firsthand experience with that. And I, and I would agree with him. That's not a place that we want to see things head. But it's great food for thought. And and he says that himself. That's what our history is there for. It's there for us to reflect on, to see where we're going so that we don't repeat things we've done in the past. And that's just a, I believe in, in this current year, that's a really good thing to think about, to reflect on, um, to look at how we're treating one another, our neighbors, our families, our friends, um, that we don't have to be so at it with each other. We, we can get along, we can find common ground. Um, I, I, I feel like that is a very common thing today to keep people arguing with one another so that some of these individuals that make decisions in the government can, can remain in power and we're not questioning those decisions. Uh, the book that I'm currently reading because of what Chad had to say is on Kelly Lincoln and it really does dive into the full culture of the Civil War, the era, what was going on at that time after listening to what, you know, him, him talking about that. I had started reading Killing England in O'Reilly series and I ended up jumping to Kelly Lincoln and I'm about halfway through with it. It's, it's another great book. Um, they're very interesting reads if you've never read any of O'Reilly's work. But those were the things that were on my mind this morning. And again, kind of wanted to talk about, to share with you all. Um, I think the only other two things that I had that were on my mind that I had also heard 
I don't know how, if this is true information or not, so I'm not going to say that it's credible, but someone, I don't, I don't even remember the source of where I was reading it at. You can, if you Google it, it comes up. I know that for a fact, but they were talking about the average age of every great empire looking at history is around 250 years. Um, I don't have a vast knowledge on empires over world history and what the average lifespan of a great empire is it says 250 years and america is at 247 years old so i thought that was kind of strange again I, I need to look into that more um to see how credible that is but if it is credible i did just with all the other things that you're hearing people talk about i just thought it was uh, a little interesting food for thought on that and then what was the other thing that I was going to bring up. Hmm. I don't recall. Hmm. It can say it can wait till the next video. But those were the thoughts, ideas, different things that I wanted to talk about on today's video to turn on the camera and just catch up with you all. I hadn't put a video up since before Christmas. So we hope everybody out there had a great Christmas and a, and a great new year. And you know, the new year's going well for you. So we appreciate you hanging out with us on today's video. If you like these videos, please like, sub subscribe, share, comment on the videos. Those things really do help us out as creators. And we always look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, have a good day.